Um, no, I didn't want to go that direction. And not that direction. I wanted to go the other way around where we had um yeah that direction because that seems promising find stuff can I please scan you now And then okay. so much potential gold here that is cool and I have the feeling you this is a, a automatic thingy there which gives me the the option of mining the stuff here okay what are you battery Water stuff. More gold. Okay. -y. Okay, that's it. You're full, but still I want to get the diamonds there someday. But I don't want to search too long for that. So that means we're just going uh, back. Give me some heat. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Did I miss something? No. We're going to the docks because I know from the docks it will be a long but more or less safe way um, through the depth and dangers of the sea under the sea under the sea and we stay up as good as possible because I don't want to fight the leviathan The map never helped. Oh, I've got a, also some calls here. Pilot last known position. Okay. Um, yeah, we have to to um, go through all the PDA stuff and read everything. That will take up some time, and that will be the last thing we're doing for today, I think, and maybe also for. Tomorrow. Because tomorrow I won't stream. I do not have time tomorrow. Um, but I think this won't be the last time I'm streaming Subnautica. For sure. Welcome aboard, Captain. Could I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you want? You do not trust all terror. No. Neither do you. But your sister was Altera. My sister was my sister. She worked for Altera. Hmm. My people do not perceive a difference. We are what we work for. Well, Sam wasn't. I should have guessed Altera would find a way to clip Sam's wings, like I knew they'd do to mine. I tried to warn her, and she was stubborn, just like me. Hmm. Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be so That is not a good her. building position. Scrappier, faster. Way less play by the rules. Was Sam working in the best interest of Walter? Yes, but they definitely didn't think so. We believe that individuals may operate in the best interest of the collective or against the best interest of the collective. There is no in-between to us. So you always saw eye to eye on absolutely everything with your network? No. I sense there's more to this story. And more to your sister's story as well. That's fine. Change the subject. We'll come back to it later. Okay, and um, we have not a. Would be greatly enhanced with the construction of an underwater vehicle. 
I have determined the location of some important technology. I implore you to investigate. Will this help us build you a body? I do not know what we will find. I just know it is important. Too much information at Signal once. Location uploaded to PDA. Please stop overflowing with information. Okay. Uh, stuff we want to build. Um, with the builder, maybe something like. A... Let's check. We want to build. Yeah. Okay. We want to build. Um. Thermos isolate. Station storage. That is something we could need, and the mineral detector is also something we could need um, later on. Mhm. Mm but the first thing we want is a we explain. we have the computer chip, we have the lubricant, and we can make um, the ingots. That is cool. So let. Oh, we don't have the computer chip because we already used it. But what do we need for the computer chip? Uh, we need gold. We have copper. We have cable. Uh, coral. We can get. But before we're doing that, we are reading the stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. I have the, the the whole things here. Thank you very much. I I, I know most of them. Find everything. Yeah, the multi-purpose room, scanner room stuff, the thermal blade, which is cool, mineral detector, the thermos. Yeah. Okay. More locations. Um. Fine. Okay, let's go. Last thing for today. Let's go to 31 Data Bank stuff. Altera. Good morning, Frostpack. Just a quick update to inform you of some key achievements and priority shifts we need you all to get behind. The Spy Pangling project was a resounding success. Please join me in congratulating Samantha IU, who is now reassigned to Outpost Zero, helping us dream of future initiatives. Congratulations are also in order for Danielle Valenti and her team at Omega Lab. The closing of Phi Robotics means important funds can be redirected to their Kara bacteria study, which has important, positive implications for the life sciences. You're all doing an exceptional job, and I don't want to promise anything, but HQ has been taking notice. Keep up the good work, and I think we can start discussing bonuses soon. Okay. For the last time, I'm not cheating. Then what's your theory? What's going on? If you ask me, Zeta's been blinking a lot. I think it's a tell. He does have a point there. It's allergies. Allergies? Oh, is something in bloom in this frozen sector? Thermal lilies. And if you gang up on me, I swear you're all fired. <laughs> you're not even my boss. Oh, you're all so gullible. You're fighting each other. Meanwhile, look at Parvin. <laughs> Just look at him. What am I doing? I'm not doing anything. Let's just take this to a vote. All those who think Zeta's allergies are a bad case of alienitis, say intruder. Intruder. Uh, intruder. Intruder. Danny? Oh, I'm just an observer here. I'm going to use my pass. Is there some kind of scientist conspiracy going on here? Zeta, Sam, Danielle, you three are suddenly very aligned. Or, like I said, Parvin is cheating. I'm starting to wish I was cheating. Okay. Let's see something we're out. You'll be happy to know the Frost Pack is making excellent progress. I must say, my management style appears to be uniquely well suited to isolated planets. I miss you, of course, but I wonder if you feel it too. As great as we are together, we're almost better apart. Just look at how well Prosperina did in her last show. I'm sorry I couldn't be there to see it, but I'm sure if I'd been around, I'd only have made her nervous. 
Once this mission is over, I'll come home for a few good months. And then, what do you think if we look at reorganizing our expectations to facilitate longer-term separation success? I really think this could be a great model for us going forward, romantically and otherwise. Don't forget, I love you from the depths of my heart. Keep on succeeding in your projects. You know there's nothing I find more attractive. I'm confused. How could you... Okay, no. I, I won't ask that. Fred, I'm not blaming you. But what do you mean it's gone? Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just... gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit, there have been a lot of sea truck accidents, and they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Okay. Ah, jeez. These sea monkeys are gonna get me in trouble. This is the third shipment that those buggers have gotten their weird little hands into. Now we're running low on flares and I'm gonna have to search nearby nests for stolen cargo. They're lucky they're kind of cute. Raccoons of the sea, those ones. Okay, okay. Fred, great to see you. Come on in. You don't mind if I record this, do you? Uh, am I in trouble? <laughs> no, you know me. Just a fanatic for details. And my memory's not what it used to be. <laughs> I know what that's like. <laughs> yes. Is that why you've been running so many personal errands for your colleagues? We asked you to limit them. Uh, so I am in trouble. That's not how I want you to look at it. Here's what I see. You're a team player. You want to get the job done. I think I have a pretty good record there. You want people to like you. Has anyone complained? Fred, the trouble is, not everyone is as reliable as you are. Sometimes people need help being where they need to be and concentrating on their work. All the trips were work-related. It appears you transported tech for Lil, rather far out from her base. Lil needed to go deep, and she needed a sea truck. Her work is currently on surface installations. She shouldn't be anywhere near the water. I, uh, well, I... No more favors to friends, agreed? Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, I keep telling you. Call me Manu. <laughs> okay. Manual special request. Emmanuel gave... I, I don't know. He's so... He seems so... Smooth. Yeah, flick. Yeah, all right. He's too slick. Um, Emmanuel special request. Emmanuel gave me this jailbroken scanner tool thing and said, I need more shower, head, shower heads. This should lead uh, you to the necessary minerals. What? You also told me to keep it on the down low. I guess this is what a master certificate in applied geology gets you these days. A job as a glorified construction worker. Ugh. I should have studied interstellar law, like Dad said. I have to hand it to Emmanuel, though. I don't know what he did to the scanner, but it does a great job at zeroing in on specific minerals. It's better than hoping I stumble across the right outcroppings. Gone fishing. What the heck? Tower maintenance log. Okay, this time the birds have really done it. I don't know what they've been eating, but it's corrosive when it comes out the other end. I'm gonna need to rewire. I'm short an element to fabricate the right cable. I remember seeing some when I did that dive to the old ship. I'm gonna go out there and see if I can get some more. That should fix it. Maintenance status in progress. Okay. Jenny, you wouldn't believe the adventure I'm having. 
It's just like when we were kids and we used to play underwater city. Only sea monsters aren't pretend and I don't need to hide behind you when one swims by. Because I'm safe in my sea truck. Safe and very, very brave. Please tell Dad for me. Thanks so much for the mustache kit, by the way. To be honest, I wasn't sure if it was a gag gift at first. Personal grooming is something of a challenge here, and as you know, I'm a pretty low-maintenance guy to begin with. But you'd be surprised how handy mustache wax is in an emergency. There have been some close scrapes. For a while there, someone was sabotaging my truck, and I thought I was seeing things. But my friend Sam helped me sort it out. Although, she's had some troubles of her own lately. To be honest, I get a little worried out here sometimes. But I guess that's normal, under the circumstances. Gotta expect a little risk, right? I should be happy. I have great friends and a good paycheck. Anyway, love you, Jenny, and Dad. Please find a way to tell him that he won't find embarrassing. And don't worry, I'm looking for the perfect fish to bring back as a gift. Your favorite! <laughs> okay. Fred and Sam? Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, Sammy, you see some weird things when you spend half your day in a sea truck. More vandalism? Was it the sea monkeys again? I don't think so. I can't shake the feeling this planet is cursed. <laughs> There's no such thing as a curse. Yeah, you're probably right. That's nothing. You wouldn't want to hear about it anyway. Just a huge creature frozen in ice. What? Where? In a cave, not far from your lab. And here's the extra weird part. As soon as I called it in, they closed off the area. Don't want anyone going in there. But why? Sammy, I'm no biologist, but I think there was something wrong with it. Its skin just seemed off. Alien. An alien on planet 4546B. No. I'm serious, Sam. Something ain't right. Wish I could show you, but I can't get back in there. You can't. But I might know how to. Whatever you're thinking, we never had this conversation. Okay. Man, you messages. Damn ugly thing followed me into the shallows. Didn't think something that big would follow me up here. Had a jettison the sea truck. Again. Ah. <sighs> I guess I could try to go back for the parts when it leaves. If it leaves. I really don't want to sit in another meeting with Emmanuel. Manu, as he likes to be called. Ugh, I just want to drive around and deliver cargo in peace. The uh, avian curse. Communications tower maintenance log. Another day, another slight by the winged furies. As usual, I got an interference alert. As usual, I went out to see what the problem was. As usual, it was frozen stalagmites of feathered bird excrement. I fear the career impact of saying this officially. If you can even call what I have a career. But I could swear they're targeting me personally. The week I was out with the flu, I came back to find the tower spotless. Parvin laughed at me when I asked him how he cleaned it. Silly me. As if Parvin would ever clean anything. There's nothing left for me to do but quit. But I know that's what the birds want me to do. Oh, and okay. I got the tower up and running. Maintenance complete. Nice. Emmanuel Desjardins. Human resource and communication. Please, so Altera. Okay, maps. We have the map. The school. That means we are. This is a delta base. It means there is a base, there is a base, and um, there is something. Okay. Helps a lot. Operating manual. New employee training. It is recommended to all training be completed while tower is in the test mode. Test mode is the fully functional simulated version of life mode. While in test mode, all communications from the tower, including distress signals, security alerts, and spy transmissions, will be disabled. To initiate test mode, insert the test override module into the diagnostic port as depicted in the diagram to the left. The activate test mode command may be entered via the terminal once the test override module has been inserted. Civilian status. 
report. Sector zero region scan. Two active human life forms detected. Unauthorized habitat, construction and vehicular activity detected. Recommendation observe and prepare possible intervention. Okay. Distress call. Picked up what sounds like a distress call. Who or what is out here calling for help? Didn't sound human. Maybe it's from a remnant of architect technology. In her message, Sam's colleague did say there was something important here. Even if it's just a mimic from one of the more intelligent aquatic specimens, that could be a major find. Or if it's from Altera, it could have bearing on what happened to Sam. I should definitely check it out. Okay. I was a little nervous about dropping into an unknown area, but luckily, this biome seems to have an abundance of minerals I can use for tools and upgrades. I didn't want another situation like Byzantos 5. When Xenoworks dropped me off, there were barely any resources. I survived off the land for three months with just a knife, my lucky PDA, and some rope. I am still kind of proud of that, though. Some of the wildlife down here is very grabby. If I didn't know better, I'd say they're after my supplies. Can you at least? If goes a battery in titanium, now comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. That this is much stuff. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera left behind tech that I can scan for blueprints. That should make surviving and exploring out here a bit easier. Don't worry, Sam. I haven't forgotten I'm here for you. But it can't hurt to do a little research on the side, right? I know you would have done the same. I will find out what happened to you. I promise. The voice snippets is so much more helpful than just reading everything. Uh, because it's so much stuff. Alien robot. Um, the device is of alien origins, although its designed design is relatively simple. Purpose. Its low threat level is at odds with the advanced technology apparently available to its designers, suggesting it was intended for more to patrol alien facilities and repair damaged infrastructure than to deter invaders. Design. Despite its simple design, this construction is quite elegant in its minimalism. Four electromagnetic legs allow it to traverse floors, walls and ceilings with reasonable speed and appear to be replaceable. Internally, there are few moving parts, rendering this construct energy efficient and resistant to wear over time. A rechargeable iron-based power reserve ensures it continues to operate. Architect Containment Cube While advanced human civilization has attempted for centuries to develop successful whole brain emulation techniques, it appears that the architect race has built a platform for accomplishing this holy grail of life extension technology. Physically, the contain containment cube appears to be compromi uh, comprised of a redundant array of quantum holographic storage layers supporting a hyperdense capacity of 35 bits per electron. The energy field that feeds a suspend animated cube also serves power the operating software allowing the intelligence and storage to maintain conscious throughout the storage period. Once a stored consciousness has been transferred out of the cube, the component parts will become inert, without witnessing and carefully observing the backup process. It is difficult to ascertain how the transfer works and whether or not the process is truly lossless. Um, we're currently, or tomorrow we will have a free day off uh, in Germany because it is a, um, how is it called? How do we call it, sis? Um, it is a, not a party day. Um, let me check. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, it's a holiday day tomorrow. Or day. Depends on how you see it. And that's why my sister's still online as well as I am. Okay. Um, we have so much more stuff to read. Boy. This is much. Architect storage media. While we have evolved beyond physical attachment, it is traditional to navigate space-time in conjunction with mobile biomechanical storage media, altered and evolved over time to serve the inhabitants' needs. While it is possible to transfer between media at will, there is some comfort and prestige in improving your body over time. We have settled on a popular format for these media, though there are exceptions. It is heavily modified version of our pre-civilized bodies, and it provides good mobility, easy adaption, and is easy to fix. In case of disaster, we can back up our data patterns to a sanctuary site for later retrieval. Storage in this fashion is safe provided consistent power supply. However, unique perspective and traits which arose from the interplay with the original medium are lost. It is like a factory reset. It is recommended individuals be restored to a compatible medium as soon as possible. Such hollow vessels may be fast drawn from seed using specialized blueprints and materials. While it is technically impossible for an individual to copy the data in order to duplicate themselves at infinitum, such behavior is considered beyond rude, and any self-respecting architect would resolve such a circumstance by immediate deleting themselves. I and Q. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table, and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it, likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. Oh my boy. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner, likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. V uh, valuable energy source. Geological data, uh, more outbox. A uh, mineral deposit often. Oh, I'm sorry that I'm reading stuff. Uh, Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I'm no. I'm reading many stuff, uh, much stuff. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, mineral deposit that often contains silver and uh, these are the special crops. Coral, table coral. We know that. Alien egg, okay, nothing interesting. Carnivores, uh, large bladder on the brain green underside. Uh, Seawater as it swims. Some water is filtered um, out through an internal membrane, leaving behind a strong line solution. To flatter transparent extendable fins, act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder's content. The brain wick can then contract its bladder, spelling the super cold brine and freezing the seawater up to several meters away from it. While warm blooded life forms may suffer minor injuries on contact with the brine, it is not cold enough to freeze most vertebrates. The real danger is being helplessly encased in a block of ice, sinking ever closer to what the Ring wings jaws. Okay. Root chuck. It is a chuck. The resilient streamlined body enables fast navigation of the tight space. Yellow turquoise coloration provides camouflage in shallow waters. Slow moving, it ambushes small fish from above. I know. Red. Yeah, I know you crash fish. I don't like you. Mm, Equip stasis rifle. Yeah. Um, Arctic Ray, um, fast moving base species, well adapted to low temperatures environment. Why didn't we? Okay. 
sea monkeys i hate you two finger like appendages on each forearm are tipped with suction pads for basic object manipulation its large turquoise crest is made of rigid bone is possibly used as a ram although this has not been observed sea monkeys roam the ocean almost playfully largely fearless of predators seen to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest to unknown purpose assessment investigate with caution hate you um sea monkey nests sea monkey nests are large ball like structures made of packed sediment and land matter the sea monkeys use their wide flat tails to pack the materials and form the structure of the nest sea monkeys are naturally uh, curious creatures often drawn to metallic materials which they gather to reinforce the sides of the nest gyre item and hope low stupid and delicious delicious complex skills like the uh, oxygen rich water back to symbiote uh, migrate more that's random okay more herbivores you know those don't go through those because we know those portable we know those mm. uh collect nutrition fungus okay Scrub bushes, just land. C. Not important. Harvestable and plantable. But can I do something with that? Can I do something with that? I want to buy that. What can I do with that? I can eat it. Okay. Just eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Uh, dun 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 dun. Herbridge. Okay. Um, I'm going through the plants a little bit faster. Frost anemone. Yep. All the harvest for high nutritious. Okay. We can eat that. That is cool. Harvestable for resources used in fabrication. Okay, we need to try that in the future. This is, we know what that does. Um, nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. We know what that does. self chorus starting chorus Those uh, polyps continuously grow over it. And creating a growth shelf. Okay. Um, nothing of interest. Nothing of interest. Okay, then we have tech. What do we have? Air pumps. We know that, we know that, we know that. We know that. That we don't know. Ultra wide, bright. Oh, uh, I, I, I know that. Using a complex blend of electromagnetic fields, transmissions, and beta decay detection. The mineral detector is capable of identifying nearby resources and approximating distance. Two antennae emit an advanced pattern of waves to detect specific materials for mining. An ultra bright display visually communicates distance to the target resource. Proximity alarms add an extra layer of information for infinite spatial positioning. Nice. Two box. Habitat installation, we know that one. We know the fabricator, we know that one. We know that one, which is highly usable. We know that one, we know that one. Power, we know the bioreactor. No, the C truck, or I know the C truck, but we can read that. The Z truck is an advanced underwater vehicle with attachable modular cabins for maximum adaptability. Adaptability 
in the field. Main cabin. Small and nimble when unencumbered by additional modules. The main cabin alone is comparable in speed to the Seamoth. A wide reinforced glass uh, viewing window provides excellent forward visibility while at the helm. While at the helm. Retractable helm person's chair to expand spared. Unlike the larger Cyclops submarine, the sea truck does not support the addition of internal modules like fabricators. However, it can be upgraded to enhance its speed, uh, towing power and crush depth, amongst other things. Rating. Speed variable depending on cargo. Crush depth 150 upgradable. Power 2 replaceable power cells. Upgrade module 4. Slots 4. Person 1 plus. Additional modules. Bespoke cargo modules can be attached to the rear of the main cabin proving a range of powerful benefits. Available modules include fabricators, stocking stations, habitation sections and of course plenty of storage. Additional cargo modules reduce the sea truck's speed, maneuverability and power efficiency. Additional modules can be jettisoned directly from the main cockpit controls to enable exploration of tight spaces or in case of emergency. The sea truck uh, competing products are trucking hell. Okay, so we read everything, we talked everything um, we had here. <laughs>